honest, there is no political change whatsoever in sight. That is why we have to prepare ourselves for that this will take a long time. This will not take weeks. This will not take months. This will take years. The things that have really made the group grow have been our major mobilizations. Uh, so the first of those was Shell No, uh, then the year after that it was Break Free, uh, and then the year after that was both Standing Rock Solidarity and the Trump election, of course. Who fetch the water? Will it be your great-granddaughter? Mandoho Harlan, who fetch the water? We've just passed a six-month moratorium on new fossil fuel infrastructure, and that means that we have the time in King County to figure out how to make a permanent ban, like Portland did, like communities around the Northwest and even across the U.S. have done, to change their land use zoning code to make sure that we don't have new fossil fuel projects threatening our communities and our climate. And in my experience, that's usually how I meet a lot of the people who want to get involved. They see something that we've created, like especially some of our batik banners, they're just like, how did you do that? That is gorgeous, that's beautiful. I would love to learn how to do that. And you can learn a lot from just like sitting around a table painting together. Because you talk about what you're painting and you, you get that information. Come hang out, we always have really cool music and food. <laughs> We've seen with our Chase campaign over the last year and a half, um, by taking bold collective action, we've helped to elevate the debate around about the bank's role in the climate crisis in massive ways. Um, we've seen the role of Chase in the climate crisis and their funding of major new fossil fuel projects on the front page of the Seattle Times. We've seen it on the nightly news, we've seen it on national news. Um, and that helps the debate to get going. The massive amount of community and hope and love that comes out of just being active and finding something in your community you care about and joining the other people that feel the same. The solutions, the ideas for the solutions are already present. It's really just a matter of people understanding that together we can solve this. I think about movements as ecosystems and that social change happens in the ways that nature works all around us, that there are so many different roles, different niches, um, and that they all talk to each other. And that, you know, we can't have healthy plants without healthy soil, we can't have healthy soil without a functioning water system, we can't have a functioning water system without wind. It's all connected and each piece of it plays an integral role. And so I know that when we come together, and when we organize together, and we have a shared vision for the change we want to see in the world, like, we can definitely accomplish it. I have absolutely, like, zero doubt about that. I will fetch the water and I will